Alright guys, today I'm bringing you a legendary item guide in Borderlands 3 and in this video we'll be looking at the ancient shield known as the Scream of Terror. The red text on the shield reads, Behold the flesh and the power it holds. And what's special about the shield is the Nova that it releases when your shields break. And from what I can tell the only real special thing about it is the fact that this Nova is in the style of the ghosts releasing from haunted enemies. This shield is one of the four legendaries that was released with the Bloody Harvest event. And like the rest of the Bloody Harvest legendaries they all have an increased chance to drop from any of the enemies enemies associated with this event that extends to any of the ghosts any of the named enemies that are within the heck hole or captain haunt in this case like the stalker i got this to drop from captain haunt however so far i've managed to get the stalker and the fearmonger to drop twice each and this shield is the first time i'm seeing this shield after 13 runs of doing the heck hole like i said the only real thing that's special about this is the aesthetic of the nova when your shields break apart from this i really could not find anything particularly amazing about this shield. The one I got came with cryo resistance, so by extension the Nova is also cryo, and this seemed to cause a bit of issues, especially against shielded enemies. Shielded enemies hit by this Nova only seem to take about a third of their shield in damage, compared to other enemies who die instantly on non-mayhem mode. On mayhem 3 mode, this shield does not seem to be effective in any way of the word. I was literally hugging enemies and forcing them to destroy my shield to see how much damage it would do right up close to them, and again it was only doing pennies in damage. With a cryo version anyway, I'd much prefer to use, say, a frozen heart, which has a pretty much guaranteed chance to freeze the enemy hit with the Nova. The Scream of Terror only seemed to completely freeze an enemy if it was to actually kill the enemy. And while yes, it does have the potential to kill enemies, those enemies that it doesn't kill are still there and readily available to start shooting at you once the shields deplete. This makes you very vulnerable, especially when you're running a shield build on Moe's, who relies on huge shield capacity and thus has a lower max health. The skill you can unlock with your guardian rank that gives you full health and shield upon reviving yourself from second wind can be helpful in completely regenerating your shield so no matter if you do go down you'll always have that charge of a nova to blast out when your shields deplete however again this makes the other shields even better like the frozen heart so i'd still much prefer to use the frozen heart over this that's it for the video guys i hope you found this useful make sure to subscribe for future legendary item guides on my channel and yeah see you in the next video